nothing but people here all day long. That Caesar's decree for the census has sure been a profitable one. The vendors are out selling just all over the place. They're going crazy. The economy has never seen better days. It's a complete miracle. Speaking of miracles, there was that certain couple that came in late tonight. Can't shake that impression they made on me. That girl that I saw, more fatigued than any woman I should ever look. And all she wanted was just a place to rest. And I had nothing. And her husband just pleading there with such desperation. Oh well, what kind of businessman would give pause to that? I mean, what could I do? Bethlehem was packed. It was no fault of my own. And that's where the book would have closed had it not been for my dear, dear, sweet wife. That jab she gave me in the ribs with her finger telling me I might need to rethink my position on things. I clearly understood my options. A, find a place to bed to sleep, or B, find myself a place to sleep. <laughs> yeah, my wife Estelle, she saw something, I totally missed it. The young girl, yeah, she was pregnant. I knew right then, I couldn't leave them out in that cold night. But the barn, that was all I had. And believe it or not, they were grateful. There was just something different about them. Something, oh, I don't know how you say it. It's kind of a quirky word, we don't use it anymore, but holy. It's the only word that seemed to fit. And they say the baby, he's the Messiah. The one to change everything. Is he really the one we've been waiting for after all this time? My whole life, this belief has paralyzed me. I guess you could say, this was my chance to finally believe. Bethlehem's going to be waking up soon, and the people want food in their stomachs, and they will register for the census. People in their own little worlds. No one knowing that the Savior has entered the world. What have I done to see the Messiah born? Yet, despite how he came into the world, all around this place is a great sense of peace and celebration and hope. Yes, hope. I didn't know I had lost it until the well I It's just that out of all the places in the world, God chose, God chose my place to bring hope into the world. I'm certainly not a worthy man, but I am a grateful one. Estelle, I haven't seen that woman this happy in a long time. As for me, well, there will always be things to sell and things to buy. But this situation has given me a new kind of heart, a heart that believes, oh, what a holy night.